Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We are playing as Bosnia and this is our 14th episode. What we're currently looking at now is pretty much a peaceful Bosnia. We've been converting some of the religions in some of our provinces over to Catholic and we're working on our last province here in Zeta. Um, what we're also looking to do is hopefully try to expand somewhere. We have claims here on Venice. We have some claims on some Hungarian territories here. The only problem is that we have been warned by the Ottomans not to go to war with anybody. Otherwise, they might uh, they might attack us because of that warning. So we're a little bit worried about that. We've got 12 more years left on that warning. Now, I could risk it, attempt to go to war with more than likely Venice because it's small. Um, but that could bring the Ottomans into, into a war with us. And it very well may not, too. That's something I'm going to consider risking. Now, some of the things that some of my subscribers have suggested is pretty much abandon the alliance with Hungary, which I agree with. Uh, some of the other playthroughs that I've been involved with, Hungary kind of gets whittled down to a much smaller nation than it is now. Um, but currently, they're allied with Austria, and going to war with them is going to bring Austria into the fight and a number of other Holy Roman Empire nations. I will get walked over if I continue um, or if I attempt to to go to war with Hungary right now. But if I see that it uh, it starts to get weakened by another nation or it breaks its alliance with Austria or something, I very well may try to push up and take some of these claims. Now with Venice here, they are currently at war with the Ottomans. I wonder then if going to war with them will bring in uh, the Ottomans to against me I'm, I'm not sure that's going to happen if i'm going against a mutual enemy we can risk that um they're also at war with savoy sorry about that they're also at war with savoy and uh pharaoh which is here and here and i don't believe that they are currently allied any longer with genoa so we could prosecute our claim on venice here um and and just to see if the ottomans come to war so we could wait 10 years or 12 years rather for the uh warning to expire and then try to go to war against venice or we can try to do it now something we're going to think about but we're going to we're going to go ahead and kick it off here and uh knock it up to a four speed We're also trying to get our uh, Noble Republic um, technology here under the administrative technology so that we can have an extra idea group. And I'm going to consider whether or not it's going to be a diplomatic idea or a military idea. M possibly a military idea. Um, the diplomatic ones are good and I, I will have a number of points because I'm, I'm thinking about saving the um, diplomatic power points up. I have enough here at 940 to unlock uh, two or maybe three, Rival of Arrival is done, two, maybe three um, diplomatic technology uh, things once I get into the idea group. And I don't have a navy, so, so advancing this currently at the moment might not, you know, might not be very beneficial. So let's pause that and see what new missions we have create a proper a proper fleet we're not going to be doing that we're not worrying about a navy right at the moment so let's increase our speed again and see what happens i apologize for some of the breaks here i'm having a few interruptions that i'm uh, having to pause the game for we don't have any new national decisions i'm going to keep double checking our alliances here with austria and hungary they're still allied with each other. The war is continuing. Hmm. How far along is the uh, missionary? He's about 53%. He's going up uh, about one or two a month here. Okay, and I'm almost at my max for diplomatic power here. 
I am going to take a look at quickly um, some of the diplomatic idea groups. See if any of these are going to be beneficial. Influence ideas. Mm, okay. It looks like the Ottomans have pushed way up into Polish territory. Way, way up. How's the war going? They're not at war anymore. They're still allied with the Knights. Um, let's see what happens if I were to declare war. Austria would come to my aid. Hmm. 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 I'm just thinking for a moment here. If I declared war against uh, Venice, Austria is right there. They will come to my aid, as we saw. I think Austria could move down and completely occupy this for me while I maintain a force down here um, to protect against the Ottomans if the Ottomans decide to attack. And I think, I don't know if Hungary and Austria will come to my aid if the Ottomans attack. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're going to risk it. I think we're going to risk it. I think we're going to declare war. We're going to see if the Ottomans... Um, come to the come to um, to attack us after their warning and uh, we're just we're just gonna see what happens here because I, I really kind of I want to start to expand and I think that's what we're gonna do so 22 February 1498 we are going to declare war actually first of all I need to ask for some military access from Hungary Now let's pause this for a second. There should be a stable government. Several of the leading members of the government are deeply worried about some changes pressed, uh, proposed to how the realm should be ruled. They demand a stop to such outrageous reforms based on our tried and proved traditions. Naturally, avoiding mentioning how the changes would impact their own power base. We can accept the, the demands to lose 50 administrative power. We can ignore them to lose uh, 10 prestige. We don't have that much prestige. We will accept the demands. We'll lose the 50 administrative power so now let's see what happens here uh, here we go now let's set a war goal or not a war goal I'm sorry a um, objective for the Austria Ooh, Serbia we got to wait for Austria to come in and, and uh, join the fight first. Okay, so the knights here we see have uh, honored the Venetian request, and Austria has honored ours, and of course Serbia has honored ours, and we are going to set the objective now for Austria. Okay. And we're just going to wait and see what happens with the, um, the Ottomans. The Austrians are moving down. The Ottomans have not declared war on us yet. That's possibly because they're already tied up. Not anymore, it seems, with the Polish. It seems that they are now done. Yep, that war is over. The Austrians are not going to move. So we are going to send our force up to uh, Donji Kraji and look to occupy the uh, this Venetian territory here. He might be waiting for this guy to come down as well. Nope, he's not going to. The Ottomans are on their way. But they are coming from Polish territory. The Serbians are moving. So, so far the Ottomans have not honored that warning against us, which is a good thing. The Serbians are... Where are they going to be going? Are they, they, they might just move in and try to occupy, which is fine with me. 
We can let the Serbians do all the work. We can hold back here in case the uh, the Knights decide to attack. Or the Ottomans. And there goes Austria. Austria has moved down into the Venetian territory here. They will occupy it, hopefully, until um, it completely comes under our control. And we're just now going to wait. Here comes some Venetian, uh, a Venetian regiment on the retreat. Okay. We're at a plus 10 now on the war score. Let's kick it up just a little bit. It's at 20%, 28% occupied, um, or the siege progress is at 28%. The Austrians should have no problem. They should have no problem there. I'm going to move my troops down here just in case the Ottomans decide to honor their warning. I think they they don't have any war at all going on. Okay, so ineffective missionary work. An official commitment to humanism means that our missionaries are finding it difficult to persuade non-believers to fall in line, which makes sense, and we don't really mind that much. Without the stick of punishment or carrot of, of official preference, the preachers have to rely on only their personal charisma. So we a missionary strength of minus 25%. That's not that big of a deal. He was just about done. It seems like it is going to take a significantly longer now for him to... Yeah, he's at 0% zero, zero progress because of that. That's okay. We've picked the humanist ideas so that we can embrace a number of religions and cultures and make our people more tolerant of one another. So, I mean, the fact that, you know, a, a province isn't going to be switched over to Catholicism isn't that big of a deal for us. Minus 14% on the siege. The knights haven't come in yet. They're down here. Now, what was that? Hold on one second. Let me get back up here and pause that. Let me look at the missions. We don't have any missions currently. Um, we can invest in a new technology. Um, I don't think... How much? No. Because I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about a new uh, diplomatic idea once we get this up. So I'm going to keep these. I'm just going to keep them there. Actually, how much how much longer is this going to be? 1504? Yeah, I actually, I might as well. I might as well, because it's going to be a little while. It's going to be a little while before this, this gets up, up to speed. 7% on the siege. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of this. Let's kick it up a little bit faster. 35%. 56. Recall the Aragon diplomat. I forgot he was still out there. Okay, we're at 44% now um, for the war score. Is that enough? No. So they won't they won't become a vassal and we can't completely annex them yet. So we just need to do a ticking ticking war score from this point on. Unless uh, unless Austria goes down and tries to attack Rhodes. So we're going to have another drawn out conflict, it looks like. Another long drawn out conflict, another waiting game.
Let's see. Forty-seven. It's going up just a little bit each month. Who's this? That's... I wonder if they have another territory somewhere, and I don't. I don't believe that they do. Forty-eight. Let's see if this is enough to completely annex them. Nope, not yet. What about becoming a vassal? No. A monopoly company has formed. Crowns often granted trading companies the exclusive rights to traffic goods in a region. These monopolies were granted in exchange for a lump sum payment and continuing revenues from the traders. Make a long-term investment. Um, so until 1510, another 10 years, we have trade efficiency of plus 15% and 50 diplomatic power. Or we can gain 121 ducats. We'll do this one. Because that takes us a long time to gain. Because we're actually only going up by 1.32 now. And that's because we're at war. And we're at 50%. Let me see if I can give Austria that objective there to go take roads. Maybe move this along a little bit. Is Austria involved in any other wars? No, just ours. 64. 65. And now they're occupying it. Okay, so they went down there and they did an amphibious landing really quickly. And uh, it looks like they completely knocked out that, um, that, that uh, knight's army down there. They're rebuilding their forces. They're doing a siege. So we'll wait for that to actually get to, um, we'll, we'll wait for that to get occupied. Protestant Refor Reformation. So the Protestantism is now coming, and that was in Norway. So we're going to look at um, switching over to Protestant, if we can. Now we've got a peace deal from the Knights, and we're going to decline that because we, we're just going to, we're going to need the war score. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can do something with with their land as well. Just out of curiosity, maybe we can give it to Austria or something. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do, but we'll wait for that to get to 100, that to be completely seized, and um, and then we'll, we'll sue for some peace. And then we've got some religious decisions we're going to be making probably in the next episode. I'll end it once we get a peace deal from here. This episode will end. And it's occupied. We're at 100%. Okay. So it looks like we're in June now. Let's see what we can do. So we can give roads to Austria. Or we can take what we came for. And what else could we do? They can revoke their cores. Um, the knights become a vassal of Austria. Hmm. What would be best, I wonder, to give roads to Austria or allow them to become a vassal? Probably a vassal. Okay, so right now we are going to uh, negotiate on entire of, on behalf of our entire alliance, and this is going to cost us 33 diplomatic power, which we have plenty of. We have 286. 
Uh, we are going to gain 4.7 prestige, suffer 8.4 aggressive expansion. Uh, the peace will give Venice minus 2.7 prestige. I don't think they'll be around afterwards anyways. Um, cost us blah, blah, blah. 33, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I think we're going to do that. We're going to send the demand. So Rhodes will become a vassal of Austria just as a reward for helping us. Uh, because we didn't lose any men in this fight. They lost most of their men. They did the work. Why not give them a reward? And we are going to take this for our own. We are going to send the demand. Okay. And then the next step is to... Uh, there's a dip of That's for the emperor. Um, we are going to make that a core. 72 administrative power. It's going to take 16 months. Okay. All right, I think we're going to end it there. Um, next episode, we're going to talk about some religious um, decisions. So if you guys like this, you want to see more Bosnia, give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe. If you have any ideas, or any suggestions, or any complaints at all, please leave them in the comments. I respond to all of my comments. Um, and uh, if you want, please subscribe to see more of this. And I thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.